Israeli scientists are using new dating technology to piece together historical events to see how closely they resemble those described in scripture. The magnetic field of the Earth is constantly changing. We can use this, these changes in the magnetic field as a dating method. We were able to reconstruct the ancient magnetic field that was recorded when ancient cities were burnt on fire by military campaigns during biblical times. Ancient geomagnetic fields have been preserved over time in mud bricks from sites destroyed by fire. And in two collections of ceramic objects, scientists from both the Hebrew University and the Tel Aviv University have dated these remnants more accurately. This method has been used in the past, but never to this extent. When these mud bricks were burnt, they recorded the magnetic field of the Earth at the time. This helped us, uh, this was used as an anchor for uh, dating other sites. We reconstructed the magnetic field also in other sites, and we could use the magnetic signal to, to date sites that aren't well dated with this, uh, according to the data from this site, which is very well dated to 701 BCE. Now, the study findings indicate, for example, that the army of Hazael and the king of Aram Damascus, first mentioned in the Book of Kings, was responsible for the destruction of several biblical cities. We're standing here at the, the, the gatehouse at Lachish. In 701, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, was here, put a siege in the city and eventually conquered the city and destroyed it. This is described also in the Bible and also in Assyrian sources and in the famous Lachish relief uh, describing the, this uh, event. And uh, we managed to reconstruct the magnetic field of the earth which is recorded in burnt mud bricks, like the one I'm holding here. As you can see over there, the burnt mud brick wall. Now, in terms of its modern application, Vaknin says that the magnetic field and its activity is one of the biggest mysteries scientists face. And this technology could be used to predict how the magnetic field will change and behave in the future. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.